This experiment needs balloons, colored card, straws, orange juice, and pepper. So what is the experiment? Well, Zoom, Annabelle and Emmanuel are going to show us how pollination works for different plants. Annabelle is using her balloon to make a bee. Nice stripes. And she's adding a straw for its proboscis. Proboscis? What's that? It's the bee's tongue and it's shaped like a straw. Oh. <laughs> Finally, the wings. Oh, that sure is a cute bee. Now I'm going to make a butterfly. <laughs> Emmanuel is using a much longer straw. That's because butterflies have much longer proboscises. Ah, nice butterfly, Emmanuel. Now you can start your flower. Next, they're making flowers. Annabelle is sprinkling pepper on hers. That's going to be the pollen. You should always be careful with pepper zoom. Too much can make you... Achoo! <laughs> Sneeze. Excuse me. <sighs> For nectar... She's using cups of juice. Emmanuel's flowers have a different shape. Their nectar is in long, thin containers, just like some real flowers. Time to do some pollination. Hey, why is Annabelle rubbing her bee on her hair? To build up static electricity, which will help with the pollination. Look! As she sucks up nectar with her proboscis, the static electricity attracts some of the pollen and it sticks to her bee. And when the bee visits the other flower to get more nectar, some of the pollen falls off onto it. And that's how pollination works. As the pollinator moves from flower to flower drinking nectar, it also carries pollen from flower to flower. Oh look, Emmanuel is building up static electricity on her butterfly and she's using her proboscis to reach the nectar in that tube. Ah! There's no way Annabelle's bee could get in there. <laughs> so that's why the butterfly's proboscis is so long. And when she drinks from the other flower, some of it falls off. And that's what happens in nature too. Different pollinators are suited to different plants, so everyone can get some nectar and pollinate. So now you know how pollination works. Thanks, guys. Your experiment was a pollination sensation.